Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. It's dinner time and do I have a dish for you. I am going to make French onion ground beef and noodles and it's going to happen all in one pot. Everything. I mean whatever we're going to put in this is going to cook in this one pot today. Okay if you're ready for this one go grab your large pot. Let's put this one together fast, easy, and it's going to be so delicious. To get started in a large pot or you know a really deep skillet, what we're going to do is bring our temperature on the burner to a medium high. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of some oil. Start heating that up with our ground beef. Now I've got two pounds of ground beef here that I'm going to place into my pot and then I'm going to take my little chopper here or you can use a one spoon whatever and then we're going to start breaking this up. Generally when I cook ground beef I like to dice up an onion and cook that into it also to give it some nice flavor but today since I'm going to be using a quick version of French onion soup this right here. Um, I don't want it to be too oniony, so I'm not going to cook onion in that right now. Now, if you want to do that, you can certainly do that. <laughs> now, I grew up with French onion soup. My mom used this a lot in different recipes, and I like the flavor of it. Now, I've never made it in a kind of a casserole or a one-pot meal with noodles and everything like that, so this is going to be new for us. But I know the flavors are going to be really good because I've checked the recipe and I just know. So we're going to go with that. Okay, now as soon as I get my ground beef all browned up, I'm going to bring you back and show you our next step. Okay, the ground beef is all nice and browned up. Now what I'm going to do is you want to drain it at this stage. So what I'm going to do is just kind of push it off to the side. Since this is a one pot meal and I don't want to use any more dishes than necessary, I'm going to take some paper towels. This is an old trick that I use. You see it a lot in my videos. And I just push it down into the grease here. Let it absorb all the grease as much as I can. And pull that out. And I got a sous chef over here. Y'all know my husband Thomas. He's helping. Getting bossed around when I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I have two pounds of ground beef in here. You can go as low as one pound or one and a half pounds if you want to do that. I use the two pounds to kind of stretch out the meal and plus we like leftovers. It's great for the next day especially when I know I'm not going to be cooking that day so there's be plenty in the refrigerator for people. Okay so the ground beef is done. What we're going to do now is just kind of give it a little flavor. I've got some black pepper. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of that. I'm only going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of salt right now because we are adding some soups and there will be something else added later that will give it some saltiness. So I don't want to over salt right now. Got some garlic so we can add some flavor to this. Oh, maybe I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to pour that in there like that. Okay. About a quarter of a teaspoon there. Mix this up. Okay, we're going to start adding our soups. Now I've got two cans of the French onion soup. Oh my gosh, if y'all haven't tried that with rice, it's so delicious. Okay, these are 10 ounce size cans. You can see all the onions in there. Mmm, yummy. All right. And then we're going to add two cups of beef broth. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. All right, so this is just a box, about four cups, but I'm just going to put half of this in here. I don't want to overdo that. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a boil, so I'm going to turn my burner on to high, mix this all together. Oh, it smells so good in there. 
and it's just going to get better because I got some extra things to add. Don't forget, so stay tuned. We're still going. We're going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I'm going to hang on to some extra beef broth or some extra water. So as we are cooking our noodles in here, if we need it, we can add it. Now, I've got 12 ounces of some egg noodles here that I'm going to add to my mixture here. Okay, we're gonna turn this down to a simmer, about a medium low. I'm gonna to try to get all the noodles into the sauce that I can. And then what we're gonna do is place a lid on here. Let me find my lid. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. Now you wanna check it every so often and make sure that we're scraping down below to make sure the noodles aren't sticking. And we just wanna to get to the point where the noodles are done. And then we have about two more ingredients that we're gonna to add to make this really creamy and delicious. All right, look at that. Just enough liquid, 10 minutes exactly, and these noodles are cooked perfectly. What we're gonna do right now is add our other ingredients to finish this off. Okay, I've got half a cup of some sour cream. I'm gonna put in a little over a quarter cup of some Parmesan cheese. Now, if you wanna use a different type of cheese, you can do that also. Okay, let's mix this together. Go ahead and turn your burner off if you haven't already. Doesn't that look good? Okay, I have a special ingredient here, these crispy fried onions. Now I'm going to sprinkle these on top of my dish once I plate it up so we don't lose that crispness of these. That is so delicious. It's very comforting too. Mmm. Those crispy fried onions. Mmm. There's a nice little crunch, a little saltiness to the dish. Mmm. Okay, you guys, are you making yours? <laughs> All in one pot. French onion, ground beef, and noodles. Make yours. Okay, make sure that you comment down below and give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay, I will see you on my next episode.